this time I'd like to open up the zoning commission meeting for June 11th let the record show all members are present this time I'd like to open up the floor for public comment period anyone wishing to speak on any item not on the agenda please come forward you have three minutes to speak no one wishing to come forward public comment period is closed I believe everybody has a copy of the minutes in their package this time I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes from last month's April 9th meeting motion to approve. second motion by Sherry Sliman second by Paige Becknell any opposition motion carries item 5a this is a site plan review zoning review ID 1891.08 lot 79 Ascension Industrial Park third filing part one for Finn construction thank you mr. chairman <coughs> members of the commission my name is Murray McCullough with benchmark group 11328 Pennywood Avenue in Baton Rouge uh, this was a site plan of a, a building it's about 60 by 95 a metal building with uh, with the uh, associated parking uh, and required detention there were uh, about six or seven items that were brought to our attention via phone call this uh, yesterday which we addressed on the map and returned back to the planning department today uh, early this morning uh, and we've addressed all those comments and we just ask that uh, you approve this site plan be glad to answer any questions if you have any Any questions, comments from commissioners? Well, uh, Murray. Yes, ma'am. Where is where is your trash going to be? I don't think I saw that on any of these plans. Your trash. There, there should have been a site plan that was done by the architect that that I, I hope uh, that Mr. Brock has. We did the dra grading plan. The the, uh, the dumpster is going to be. Um, it doesn't show on this particular plan that we prepared because this is this was really the grading and drainage plan. But as I but as I understand it, I think the dumpster is going to be in the in toward the rear on the uh, uh, left side of the building. I mean, we don't specifically show it. It's just a grading plan, but it should have been on the site plan prepared by the architect it, previously. It is. I don't see it. Well, like I said, it's not on this well, no, particular. I, I, in our packet, I don't see it if it's on there. Okay. It wasn't on there. What about there was some? Okay. There were some things I don't. I didn't see them as I was going through the packet. There were some things. Um, Let's see lighting plan the lighting th there's a note on this particular plan that we put on there to address the lighting well it, the lighting there's no freestanding lights the lights are, are building mount, mounted and they will be fo they will be uh, directed to uh, shine down toward the parking lot there's also no freestanding signage uh, it should be building mounted signage I believe um, as, as I understand from the developer so those were addressed uh, on the map uh, there were a couple of other uh, minor comments that uh, we addressed. <clears throat> Pardon me. There was a question about the utilities. Um, the utilities come in on the right side of the building as you're facing the building. The uh, there was we didn't there was no truck turnaround as in as in a, a tractor trailer type truck because this is all regular type vehicle access according to the developer the uh, the builder okay, so and the no adjacent dollar? property owners are are the adjacent property uses has, have now been shown on the map. Ricky, were you satisfied with this now? I, I, I didn't get all of the revised information as I was taking care of other stuff this afternoon. So, I mean, it sounds like he, he gave you most of the information. Um, you know, once again, it, I guess it, it comes down to you guys and what your opinion is of the architecture of the building and the materials of the building. And as it relates to the code, it's, it's your opinion as to that. I just have one question. Yes, ma'am. There is no dock. There's no. a loading dock. Is that what you're asking? Right. Yes, ma'am. That's correct. We did not design into a loading dock. Okay. 
So, Mary, <clears throat> this property owner is, if a semi truck were going to come deliver here, how would he how would he pull in and out of the property? Well, he could a semi truck could pull in and turn right and then back into the uh, uh, down the driveway on the left side or the right side if if necessary. We've done a number of like Dollar General stores that have that do exactly that. Uh, it's my understanding from the from the owner though that. Uh, you know, this is your standard type vehicle that no semis are going to be delivering here. But that, you know, that would be what they could do. And it's certainly possible for them to do that. This is a very similar uh, design layout as we've done to a, a number of times on Dollar General stores around, around the area. in the future you know you got to have all this stuff in the beginning you'll know next time well we actually know it this time but all we were asked to do was a grading plan and we're here you know kind of last minute Lance was kind enough to give us a call and we did the best we could do on this particular issue but all we did on this particular issue was do a grading plan to put in the architects plan Okay, somebody so, else did all the other stuff? Somebody else should have done the architectural plans, architectural layouts, if you notice. I mean, while we check to make sure that, you know, the radiuses and stuff were here, there's also, a, uh, should be a geometric layout done by the architect. We did simply a grading and drainage plan for his stormwater detention. At one time, he had two buildings, uh, and uh, he was told no, and that's when he came to us and said, there's a requirement for stormwater detention, what can we do? And we said, well, you remove one of your buildings and we can put a detention pond on it, which is what we did. And that was, that was our task, and that's what we did. So I apologize if that, you know, like the dumpster issue, all the other issues that came up, we addressed. But well, it's just in the business park, it, the requirements are stricter. Right. And, I understand. Know. I okay. understand. We just, it was our understanding someone else was handling that, and then we got this call at the last minute. We tried to do the best we could to address those comments. So, I mean, it's, it's I understand, but, um, You know, obviously not, if I may. I mean, no harm, no foul. I mean, I, I think that the it's going to be what you expect it to be, as is most projects. So. Lance, any comments? The only comment that I had is that the, the dumpster is, was not shown. So everything else was, was addressed, uh, but the dumpster was not shown. And yeah, I was I unable to get in touch with somebody to find out exactly where the dumpster was going. I mean, it has to go somewhere on the concrete pavement somewhere, somehow. But... I, I wasn't gonna. I didn't want to wait on the other comments to, you know, wait the last minute to get them to land. So we did what we could. Yeah, we just want to make sure it's not sitting out there on 73. <laughs> oh, it, it won't be sitting on 73. I just had I'm one sure additional comment. I, I think that if you guys go ahead and approve this project, I'd like to see some sort of a stipulation that says, if in the future the future industrial drive gets developed as an improved road that we close one of those accesses on 73 and access the second drive off of that road that's and not the benchmark the issue, state would support that i'm sure, I'm sure they would <laughs> yes say that uh, again I, Ricky, I, one more time okay look can i expand on that yeah if i may uh this would be the eastern driveway onto highway 73 in addition to that, Mary, I think that um, I'd like to see the east side of the building, which will ultimately be visible from Industrial Drive, to have some architectural treatment. Um, I mean, right now, what, you've, what, what, the, um, what the architect shows is just a black metal wall. And from a landscaping perspective, all you have is ground cover. So I, I, you know, they, I think they need to do something with that facade of that building. Break it up somehow. I would feel I would feel certain that the the builder developer would be glad to follow the ordinance as it is required, as the ordinance stipulates. Well, the ordinance, unfortunately, it's rather liberal. It just simply states that the visual pleasing and architecturally comparable with these standards, and then it goes on to say that the majority of the exterior and externally visible opaque surfaces should be brick, precast concrete panels, 
concrete block, cut stone, wood, or other building materials that we determine are, you know, are visually acceptable. Um, Understood. Even even if if there's a brick band along the bottom, you know, four feet high, and the rest is metal, you know, something like that could be reasonable. But I, I think that you need to do something there. Any other questions? Any other comments, questions? What is the wish of the commission? I'll make a motion to approve subject to uh, the following provis provisos. One is that the um, uh, site plan be amended to show the um, location of the dumpster in a matter that's acceptable to staff. Um, that the site plan note a future connection to um, in, you know to industrial drive and the closure of the easternmost driveway to highway 73 uh, and that that driveway will be closed once industrial drive is is open east side of the building should have an architectural treatment at a minimum it should have a four foot tall uh, brick band with with steel above it. Second. <clears throat> I have a motion by Julio Dumas for approval. Pending the site plan, locate the dumpster. The site plan also note a future connection to the industrial drive and closure of the driveway on the easternmost corner and that architectural treatment be provided on the east fascia of the building. Seconded by Page. Beckman. Any opposition? Motion carries. Okay, I oh, can I ask one question if you don't mind? <laughs> you sure may. Mr. Ho Mr. Dumas, you, you said that that architectural feature was if industrial, <clears throat> that, that road was ever improved, or is that just notwithstanding that? Well, you're not going to, you know, it's going to be tough to amend your building at that time. I think you just need to go ahead I, and do it. Well, I just want a clarification to tell yeah. my client. So. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Item 6B, zoning ID 1892.08, lot 10, Ascension Industrial Park. Second filing for Rodney Sheets. Anybody representing? There we go. Good afternoon. My name is Rodney Sheets with Rodney Sheets Construction. Uh, I'm here tonight to, uh, well, I submitted some plans to build a metal building on one of my lots that I own on uh, lot 10 in Ascension Industrial Park also. And uh, I was also unaware of the four or five or six items that go with a business park. I'm a general contractor and I've been building metal buildings in Ascension Parish for years. This is the first one I built in a business park. So uh, Lance, Mr. Lance called me and uh, told me we had some comments that needed to be addressed. So uh, I addressed them in the best way I knew how. So uh, if I think you have some questions you need to ask, so I'm here to answer. Comments, questions from commissioners? You know, and you um, you have a plan that you label truck access. Um, I guess the question here is, you know, if if a semi truck came to deliver to this building, how would how would they maneuver in and out of the property? This is a uh, industrial subdivision. Do you have do you have the uh, plot plan? Do you have one of these? Mm -hmm. Normally on these lots, it just the truck would go in and he just backs in your parking lot. He unloads and drives out. That's how this is uh, normally taking the deliveries take place. There's no room in these lots for trucks to go in and basically turn around and, and, and drive out. 
So I, I was out there cutting grass on my lots this past week, and uh, some deliveries were made, and that's that's what they're doing out there. These these are smaller lots. These are not large acreage lots. Uh, my lot sizes are 102 feet wide by 250 feet deep, so there, there's no room for trucks to go in and turn around. And, and the type buildings I'm building, uh, it'll mostly be pickup truck traffic, automobile traffic. Uh, of course, there may be some deliveries, but uh, I doubt if it would be on a, on a daily basis. <coughs> and, and these are spec buildings. These are rental properties, which I will own. Uh, I have two tenants interested in, in buildings on each lot right now that I'm entertaining. Hopefully, uh, we'll sign some contracts. One's a food corp business, which uh, he wants to build a kitchen and stuff and, and do food testing. And uh, another one is a uh, industrial, small industrial supplier who needs uh, a lay down yard behind the building. So most of that would be pickup truck deliveries or smaller trucks, not 18 wheelers. Um, a lay down yard, what type of thing would they be storing? Uh, it's a mat business. They put down uh, timber mats for, for cranes and, uh, you know, heavy construction. And he needs to store his mats in the rear of the building, and that will be fenced in. Okay, that's what I was going to say. I right. believe there's some requirements for lay down. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it fenced in where he can kept, keep it locked. And I think it has to be opaque. So not maybe, is that correct, Lance? Is it opaque? So more than just a chain link fence. And that's required out there? Well, whatever the requirements are, okay. we put it. Just, just yeah. so you know. Okay, thank you. Any other comments, questions at this time? What is the wish of the commission? You know, I, I think that the other issue I have is, is your landscape plan. I mean, it's fairly... Well, I drew that I mean, in. It, dismal would be generous. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what else to call it. I, I did what the neighbor down the street did, and it was approved. Uh, I, I don't want to put him on the spot, but he basically took his plot plan and drew some uh, flower beds with trees in it, and that's what I did. But uh, the uh, architectural committee in the, in the, who overrules the subdivision is going to require landscaping. And we're also going to side all of green area. I mean, it's going to be done real nice. And I also have a, a print of the building if you all would like to take a look at it. It's going uh, to have a brick front, brick sides 12 feet down each side, and a uh, front porch with columns. It's going to be a real nice building. What about the uh, what about a drainage plan? Do you have, have you submitted one? Uh, no, I, d I don't have a drainage plan. I was going to request. Uh, I don't know if it's a variance or or acceptance acceptance not to uh, have to do that. Considering I bought these lots about seven years ago, and uh, I think I you know I think I should be grandfathered in on this. Uh, I, I don't have room there for ponds to to. Uh, yeah, but, it, but, but it's not a variance that we can grant. I mean, the ordinance says that you have to accommodate the drainage. That's something that you have to provide. We don't, well, we can't just forgive drainage, part of the code. There's perimeter drainage all around the lots, all, on both lots. Again, I think, you know, that the ordinance is clear. That's a requirement that you have to comply When does with. this ordinance come into play? Because uh, there's a building that... Well, how, how, how can they come behind, you know, after, after a development has had final approval and, and develop, they can come you back? Develop the plan. You're trying to submit a building to get approved. That's a requirement. Right. It requires a drainage, a drainage plan with it. Right. That's a requirement of you submitting. You can buy land all the time, but until you want to do something with it, you've got to submit the drainage plan then, and that's what you're saying. You've got to submit the drainage plan. Well, there were buildings built next door to me within the completed in the last six months that don't have this. That's, that's what's bothering me. Uh, I understand what you're saying, Ms. O'Neill. I understand that. But uh, there has been some, I don't know if the right word is variances or approval. I don't know if it came from this commission or someone else. But there has well, been some people granted uh, situations where they didn't have to put the ponds. Well, I didn't say they have to put a pond. You say you have a drainage plan the way you want it done. 
Doesn't say you gotta have a drainage pond. So just show the basically the runoff to my so ditches and where ditches it's going to. Where it's all going. Okay. Yeah, you have to that you have to show where it do does. And, I was it should be done by an engineer. Drainage ponds out there. <clears throat> okay. Well, I, I can do that. I'll be happy to do that. This this is a plan that has to be prepared by an engineer right. that stamps and assures that the stormwater is going where it's supposed to. Okay, we can we can furnish that for you. Could I request uh, approval uh, contingent upon me furnishing the proper drainage plan where I could go ahead and start construction? I'm sorry, staff has to comment. Go ahead. We wouldn't issue the permit until that's done anyway. The building permit would not issued and would not be issued until the drainage plan is done. That's one of our requirements for uh, commercial plans. So I would basically have to get the drainage plan done, submit it to you, and come back to the next meeting with that. Or <coughs> could, I, could I could I get it contingent upon furnishing that with Lance's approval? I have two tenants interested in this building. and I hate to lose them. You know, I hate to wait an, uh, another month. I'll be glad to do what you need me to do. I'm not trying to avoid that. And you said I can't get the building permit anyway until you receive that. So there's your control over it. Uh, staff, is that all we're lacking right now from y'all's perspective? From my perspective, yes, sir, that's all we're lacking. Yes, sir. I, um, the landscape plan, I don't mean to beat a dead horse, but, and I know you said that your subdivision ordinance, or you have an organization that would, mm -hmm. that, do you know what their requirements are? Because, I mean, all Not. you're showing is just a couple of trees. No, there's, there's, I was going to put six mature crepe myrtles. Okay, the, uh, okay, I don't see that many. I'm so going to do that. I have six that I'm going to put there, plus shrubbery and, uh, you know, flower beds. There's also a uh, planting area right on the left side of the building, in the front of the building. Okay, something to soften the building. Right, we're going to do that. And I'm going to sod the entire green area in the front of the building. Okay, that sounds better to me. All right, well, okay. I, I tell you what we'll do. Uh, at least what I'm prepared to ma make a motion on. I I'll make a motion to recommend approval subject to the following, that you provide a drainage plan that meets the standards of the ordinance and, and satisfies the requirements, and two, that you provide additional information in your landscape plan that more accurately describes uh, what you just told told us tonight that you're going to have six great metals, the shrubbery, and the sod, okay. and what have you. Uh, and staff can can confirm that against the information you provided tonight. Okay. Shrub counts, not just shrubs. Yeah, like in other words, I, it, there's going to be six mature yes. great metals and the number yes. of shrubs okay. you're going to plant. Okay? No problem. Thank you. I have a motion by Julio Dumas for approval subject to providing a drainage plan that meets the drainage ordinance uh, before construction can, before the permit can be issued and then uh, provide additional information for landscaping. Second. Seconded by Steve Barrow. Any opposition? I object. Michael Marshawn. Any other objections? Motion carries. Thank you. Item number seven. Can we have some status reports still for them? I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. We're good. We're good. Never mind. Sure. Instead of returning, you want to bring them up today in a couple things? Yeah, why you don't have a committee meeting here? I mean, a committee report. What happened? What happened to our committee report? All right. Well, okay. Okay. Uh, just, uh, I'm sorry. This isn't on the agenda, but just to bring everybody up to. Oh, we usually have a committee report. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think under the so zoning I had committee. Had a couple, couple of reports, y'all. Um, following our our 
last meeting, the parish council took action and, and approved our application for the grant with CPEX. So we're we're moving in that direction uh, and what have you. The second thing is is that um, uh, we're working on a, on a number of of items, and uh, hopefully Ricky will have will be able to have uh, some of them, a couple of them. Uh, for you next month, uh, we're, at which time we'll be requesting a uh, that we schedule a public hearing for them. Okay. Do you need a motion today? No. 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 I just wanted to bring you up to speed that we'll have some of that next month. All right. Thank you, you Julio. Any other old business, new business? Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. We are adjourned. Thank you.